I'm not religious. I don't mind questions. But first, Google it. If you can't find it, that's your problem. If you don't like the answer, that's your problem. If you got a question about my personal life and my personal opinions on things, be between 18 and 24 and a woman, into me, go on a date with me. And before the date, put a video on YouTube so I know you're not trolling me. If you have to make blanket statements like everybody and nobody with me, you're not my type. You're being mean. You're gaslighting. You're a narcissist. A narcissist won't point out their own foibles. I've clearly showed videos with foibles on me. I have a scab on my face from the cold and a pimple and I need to shave and I need to take a shower today. Those aren't things a narcissist says. A narcissist says things like, I'm perfect the way I am. I've met plenty of them. Being empathic has made me ambivalent. I like doing good for people because kindness equals happiness. But if you walk on me and you're there to talk about some dude other than me, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in you running your shit mouth about anybody other than me. And if it's shitty and negative towards me, stop. I'm 40 years old. I don't need to tolerate your bullshit, your negativity, and your pessimism. Go the fuck away. If it's optimistic and positive, well, fine. If you have to complain about some dude or some chick that slighted you, get social media. No one cares. Put it out in the open for everybody else. I'm not your psychologist. I'm not your shrink. I'm not your therapist. If you're a dude and you don't play board games with me, well, I'm not interested in you. If you don't show me empathy and love and compassion, like as you were a brother, then I'm not interested in you. You're not my friend, and I'm not your friend. If you're a woman, in between 18 and 24, I don't want to listen to you talk about some other dude. I don't want to listen to you run your mouth about some problem that could be solved by your girlfriends. If you don't have girlfriends and you're a chick, go get some. No dude wants to be walked on. We're not therapists unless we're boyfriend-girlfriend. Then, you know, I'll be your therapist. Sure, I will listen. If you say you hate me, I'm going to say I'm not interested in you. These are things I've learned. These are things that I've learned in 40 years on this planet. It's okay to be empathic. But if you're not ambivalent towards the bullshit and tell the fucking narcissists to go fuck themselves, you're going to get screwed over. You need a place to stay? There's a homeless shelter. I've had plenty of people when I was in Olympia stay at my apartment and they just fuck their girlfriends because I was generous and took the couch. You were rude. You owe me. I want a girlfriend. I want a wife and I want kids. If you can't do that for me and I was there for you, be gone forever. If you want a regular bro-y kind of dude, like your buddy, eh, it might, might work, but you still have to know about the telomere evidence of older men between the ages of 40 and 55. If you're still fucking chicks and you're below 40, uh, I do have a touch of a problem with you. I don't hate you, but I want you to hold your horses and never do it again until you're 40. Because I'm going to run my mouth. If you and I are hanging out and there's a girl there, it doesn't matter to me if you're married to her. I'm going to talk and I'm going to tell her this and I'm going to bring evidence and it'll be in a folder and I'm going to hand it to her and you're going to have to deal with it. If you don't believe it, I don't care. I'll get up off the table and, you know, say good day and walk away because I don't have time for the ignorance. If you're not convinced, well, then this is your problem. If you say the N-word around me, I'm going to call you a racist. It's just how I am, you know? I don't like trashy, degenerate people. I've dealt with so many trashy, degenerate people. If you got to call me a misogynist, a misogynist, a misandrist, a hater, a racist, a homophobe, 
uh, those are all lies. I'm guessing you're a Republican because you just won't stop. And I'm not a Republican. I'm a Democrat. So fuck you. Impeach Trump. Go the fuck away. And never fucking talk to me again. If you got to ask me questions on the street, you're the problem. I got a phone, I'll call the police. I'm not doing anything illegal. Moralistic arguments, I've had enough of them. Just deal with it. What I'm saying here is that I like the golden rule. The golden rule is an objective moral truth. I'm pretty sure my name is not Google. And I'm pretty sure you and I are not eating sushi together right now. Or pizza. Or Indian food. Or any moderately priced food. I'm not interested in buying you dinner if you are a guy. And I'm not interested in having dinner bought for me if you're a guy. I'm not interested in hanging out with you. Unless we're playing board games. Or, you know, I come in and you're at work and I buy something from you. Your problem with the world is your problem. You need to deal with it on your own. If you come into my place expecting me to babysit you, or you eat my food and just grouse around and talk shit about things, get social media because no one wants to hear it offline anymore. The vast majority of people would say, get social media. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, if you got a problem with it, YouTube. Because that's your problem. No one wants to listen to you run your hater mouth. On the internet, it's one thing. Out in public, it's a nuisance and you're a disturbance to the peace. I've been in jail. I didn't leave my girlfriend's apartment eight years ago after I had a fit and threw a glass at a wall and stormed off. That was my problem. But that was eight years ago. You need to let all this stuff go. I hit on a 16-year-old at Starbucks because I looked it up on the internet. What is the legal age of consent? 16. That wasn't the issue with the police. Somebody said I had a gun in my apartment years later and searched my apartment. There was nothing. I'm not hitting on 16-year-olds anymore. Let the past go. If you're not between 18 and 24, I'm not interested. Because I want to get married. I'm not here to listen to your negativity and pessimism and your bullshit. If these people are trolling me and you like me and not them... Please feel free to make them shut up. It's kind of fun, anyway. You know enough about me where you like me. And there's all these people that know enough about me where they don't like me. You guys have the argument because it gives me a major fucking headache. I have a headache right now. Other than that, be nice. Your problems are your problems. My problems are my problems. 